One man was killed, another critically injured, following separate fights outside of bars in downtown Salt Lake City. Now, the weekend incidents are the latest in an apparent cluster of violent crimes that began late last month. News 4 Utah's Haley Higgins looks into the numbers. Two people have been killed, five critically injured in just over three weeks here in Salt Lake City. I am surprised that that would happen in Salt Lake. It's scary. It's very scary. 25-year-old David Burwell shot and killed during a fight at Wasted Space Saturday. The homicide comes hours after a man went to the hospital in critical condition after another bar fight on Friday. It doesn't surprise me. I think in a larger city, there's always going to be some crime. Happens everywhere. From a man stabbed behind Gracie's, a teen stabbed to death, and another teen shot in the face. Downtown Salt Lake's proven dangerous in recent weeks. When it comes to violence, it's hard to determine how to prevent that. I mean, weapons and everything of that nature is easily accessed. So. Crime stats obtained by News for Utah show seven people killed so far this year in the capital city. That's the same as this time last year. Compared to the five-year average, aggravated assaults are down roughly 16 percent, homicides up 20. Something should be done about it. It's awful and it shouldn't be happening. Unable to discuss the statistics, Detective Robert Ungrich says despite the recent crime cluster, police work hard to keep downtown safe. Certainly things happen, um, things that are unpredictable happen all the time, but we don't want that to discourage people from coming down and having a good time. There are things you can do too. Police say don't walk alone, park in well-lit areas, be aware of your surroundings, and call police if you see a fight or something suspicious. You just have to be smart about it. In Salt Lake City, Haley Higgins, News 4, Utah.